Now, we've been tracking the many leaks and rumors about the upcoming Galaxy Z Flip 5 for several months now. I've even shown you guys some renders that were purportedly what the Z Flip 5 was going to look like, even one that I was quite skeptical of in the video that has since turned out to be absolutely false. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at a render that's going to look similar to one of the recent ones that I've shown you guys, but this time it's coming from a source that I actually trust. And I can say with confidence, this is almost certainly what the Z Flip 5 is going to look like. And let me just tell you, this cover display is getting a massive upgrade to compete with the likes of the Oppo Find N2 Flip. And of course, we have rumors about the Razer 40 Ultra coming very, very soon as well. Let's turn our attentions to a website called MediaPeanut.com. This is a strange website, but for those that do not know, on leaks. Steve H. McFly, the person who is responsible for this particular leak, has a tendency to work with smaller up-and-coming websites, if you will, to try and kind of boost them along. And that is what we have going on here. So if you see this is from MediaPeanut.com and you think this is clearly nonsense, we have to look at who actually is the source of the leak. And of course, that is on leaks, and they are extremely reliable in this uh, field. They leak this sort of thing all the time and are almost always accurate. Exclusive Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 leak render reveal. So with this first render on screen here, I'm gonna let you know this thing has a 6.7 inch main display, which is exactly the same size as the current Z Flip 4. So in the size they've been using for a while. However, a big change, 3.4 inch cover display. And you can see that here, it is massive. I'm assuming they're going from this corner to this corner, not this corner, to this corner, because that would give you a slightly larger measurement. I'll let you can see. It sort of has this cutout, kind of almost reminiscent of the original Z Fold device. We are keeping the dual rear cameras, which I would expect to have similar specs to the dual cameras that we had before, probably a couple of 12 megapixel cameras. The Z Flip camera is better than people give it credit for being. It's not the best in the world, but it can squeeze out some pretty decent shots from time to time. And then we have the measurements, 165 by 71.8 by 67 millimeters. And I think we have those measurements on GSM Arena as well. And if we look at those and compare, we are talking about changes of like less than a millimeter for the most part. So very, very similar in terms of the body to the Z Flip 4. The big change here is obviously going to be that massive cover display. Now there's more though than just that massive cover display. If we open up one of these renders in another window or tab, there we go, that's much higher quality. What you can't see here because this is a render, but it's gonna be actually fairly close to reality is the fact that the crease down the middle should be much harder to see. On the current Z Flip devices, that gutter is quite deep. It's at least as bad as my Z Fold, but I swear my wife's Z Flip might actually be deeper and more noticeable. Maybe it's just the spot that it's in, I don't know. But at any rate, there's a new hinge design coming that you can either call a water drop hinge or a dumbbell hinge, dependent upon your terminology. What this is going to allow is two things. One, the device should now fold totally flat with no gap in the middle. And two, that crease should be far less visible. Let's talk about this cover display though, because I think that this is actually really interesting because it's going to necessitate some new software for this cover display. Okay, this is a much larger screen. Frankly, we're gonna need to be able to do a lot more on this screen than we could before. A good example of what not to do might be the Oppo Find N2 Flip, which has that massive cover display, but with awesome software updates coming down the pipeline, it's much more limited than you would expect it to be. You just can't do all that much on it. I would like to see Samsung go full Motorola in this way and just let you launch whatever application you'd like to launch. Basically treat it like just another display. Obviously have all the widgets and cool notifications and you know, taking photos with it and things like that, but just open it up and let people do whatever they want to do on it. Fully responding to text messages, emails, all that sort of thing keyboard on the screen. I think it's big enough to do some of the stuff that people want to do it. You can't just slap a really big cover display on there and then not update the software to follow along with it. I do also want to point out a few more things. We're sticking with the same fingerprint scanner slash power button combo below the volume rocker. That is not changing. USB-C on the bottom, speaker grill, probably microphones there, and then probably an amplified earpiece up there to give you that stereo sound. 
All in all, I do think that this thing does look like a fairly solid upgrade, okay? Like the specifications are not going to be a huge jump, although we are going to be going to that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is going to make a pretty big difference in the day-to-day -day performance as well as the longevity, okay? The Z Flip has not had the greatest battery life. This new system on a chip might help that out more than people are thinking, but we're getting not just that, the new cover display, the new hinge, that new system on a chip. I think that this is going to not just be an iterative update, which is what we've seen a lot from Samsung as of late. This is going to be a true upgrade for the Z Flip 5. Guys, what do you think of this device? Let me in the comments down below. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.